What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn how to use GitHub with Visual Studio and the desktop application of GitHub in combination with Visual Studio Code in order to, well, work together on a project with someone else. So this is going to be a very important skill if you want to work either with a body on a project or if you want to work in a big corporation or in a company in general where multiple people are working on the same project. So this is going to be a crucial skill whenever it comes to programming. And if you believe that this is in any shape or form valuable to you, then please leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And now let's go to the video. All right, so before we use GitHub, let's first of all check out what GitHub is. And GitHub is a version control system or VCS. It's defined as a system that tracks the history of changes that people make to projects. But why, you might ask, why would you even use something like that? Well, let's imagine you were are working on a project. It could be a mobile app or maybe a video game. Then your friend or colleague asks you if he could join and help you with the development. You say yes, and you send him a copy of the project in zip format by email. Right after that, you made changes to the project and your friend did too. The problem is that both of you have different versions of the project now, and it will be extremely hard to figure out how to merge both versions correctly so that the changes you both made are carried out to the new version. The solution is to use a version control system like GitHub, for example. Instead of only saving the project files on your computer locally, you will be able to save the changes you make as commits. You can then push these changes to GitHub and they will be stored there. Your friend can then fetch and pull these changes to his or her computer. We call it a clone. In the same way, your friend can also make commits and push them to GitHub which you will then be able to fetch and pull as well. Not only that, but you will also be able to view the commits that were made to the GitHub project, or as we call it, a repository. The commits, as you can see, will contain information about who made them, when and what is it that they actually changed or added to the project. Also, you will be able to see the individual lines of code that were added marked green or removed marked red from the project. So we can see Git or any VCS is a very useful tool. But why is it something you must learn? Well, any version can be recovered at any time, which means you won't have to make backups of your project before you import any library that might break your project. So if you nuke the project by mistake, no problem, you can easily restore the project to an earlier state. More than 70% of developers use Git, which means this is not including developers who use other version control systems. Almost every company will require you to know Git or be familiar with any VCS out there. Some companies will even ask you to provide them with a GitHub page that contains projects you worked on before. If you want to get a job as a developer, you must know Git. And the fourth reason to use it are collaborations. This will eliminate the issue when it comes to time zones. So developers from different time zones can work on the same project. This will also allow experts to take a look at Git history and give advice on development of the project. All right, so let's look at the website here. So github.com is where you will find the GitHub tool where the world builds software. And you can see here, there are over 65 million developers using this tool, over 3 million organizations, as well as there are over 200 million repositories out there. Over 70% of the Fortune 50 companies are using GitHub as well. And then once you have created an account on GitHub, let's go ahead and use it in Visual Studio. So I'm going to create this little software where I just have this console app, which has anybody here on the console, nothing else. It's a very simple one. Now I'm using Visual Studio 2019 and this will work very well with 2022 probably as well, but you should use at least 2019 because in older versions, you would then have to manually add the Git extension to Visual Studio. All right, 
So in this case, I don't need to do that because as I said, I'm using 2019. Now, what you will find is that there is this Git option here at the top and I can now go ahead and create a Git repository. So let me do that. Therefore, I need to sign in to my account. So here I can now add a GitHub account and this will then send me over to my browser where I can then authorize Visual Studio. This of course only works if I am already logged in. I'm logged in with my Tutorials EU account and now I can authorize GitHub here. And now Visual Studio will be authorized with my GitHub. Now at this point you can see that my account has been added here. The owner has been added and now I can give it a repository name. You see that it automatically takes the name of my project, which was Git console app. Now you can of course change that if you want to. So now there is this option to make the repository private. If you hover over it, you will see what that means. So you choose who can see and commit to this repository. Now, if you make it unprivate, so if you uncheck this, it will be public, which then means anyone on the internet can see the repository and you choose who can commit. Okay, so if you want nobody else to be able to see this repository, just make it private. If you want to share it with the whole world, just uncheck this box. Now, if I click on this create and push, it will push it to this link here, tutorials.eu slash and then the name of the repository. Let me do that and then save my project. Quick pause. In this video, you'll learn something about C Sharp. And if you want to learn everything there is to know that you need for the fundamentals and to become a real C Sharp developer, then definitely check out my C Sharp masterclass in which you're going to learn all of the things you need to know about C Sharp. So you're gonna learn how to do the basics, how to use object-oriented programming, how to use WPF in order to create your own user interfaces, how to use databases, how to use link, how to create your own games using Unity, and a lot more. So if you want to become a real C-Sharp developer, definitely check out the link in the description below. And then once you commit it, you can go back to GitHub and you will find your repository here. In my case, it's up here. Otherwise, you can also just go to your repositories from over here at the top and you will find your Git console app, which is private. And here you find the different files that you have. Okay, the properties, the app config, the program CS, and here you can find the code that was added, the right line, anybody here, and the read key. All right, so now that was how to use GitHub with Visual Studio. So what if you are not using Visual Studio? Maybe you want to have a Unity project or an Android project. Since we have a copy of this repo on GitHub, let's assume that we are a different person now who wants to clone this repo and work on it using Visual Studio code instead and not Visual Studio as it is. Well, then you can use the GitHub Desktop Edition. So you can just go over to desktop.github.com and download it for Windows or for Mac, as you see here. Once you've downloaded the tool, you can go ahead and install it. Here you can sign it into your GitHub account, then authorize the desktop app and open GitHub Exa. Here, select the email address and there you are. At this point, click on the application that you want to open and you can select the folder where you want to put it and going to press clone. Then I'm going to open it in Visual Studio Code in order to demonstrate how to use different commits. Once Visual Studio Code is opened, you can find your console app here with all of the files, including the program CS. So let's go ahead and just write something here. I'm going to write, yes, I'm here. Then save it. And now once I go back to my GitHub desktop application, you can see that the word changes made here in line 15, while it was empty before, this empty line was deleted and it was replaced with this new line that says console.write line. Yes, I'm here. And now we can commit this to the master. Let's do that from our GitHub desktop straight away. And now if we want to commit that to the master, we need to add a summary. So let's say fix the bug, blah, blah, something like that. And there was a huge 
bug in my bathroom. So now I got rid of it and now I can push the origin. Now this is going to push the origin for me. There we are, it's done. Let's have a look at our project directly in GitHub here in the program CS. And it says, yes, I'm here. So you can see the changes were made and we have two contributors, SteelCow and Tutorials EU. Whereas SteelCow is my account that I'm using in Visual Studio. All right, and now back in Visual Studio, not in Visual Studio code, how do I get the changes that were made? Because if I work on my project here, you can see the changes aren't here, but I can very easily just pull the changes by pressing the pull key and you see the code was added for me automatically. So now it pulled the latest version from the GitHub repository and I can now go ahead and use it from here and keep on working on it. Now you can also go over to Git here and manage the branches. Then you will see that there were different authors. So here, Dennis Panuta added the project files, then Tutorials EU updated the, the program CS and fixed a bug, blah, blah, and changed the master. Now I can go ahead and create a new branch if I wanted to. This would be based on the master and would pretty much be a copy of the code and would be uh, so to speak, a different version, which I now can keep on working with. And it would be a different branch, so a different version to the version that the other person is working on. All right, so that was a little introduction on how to use GitHub in Visual Studio and also how to use the desktop application of GitHub with Visual Studio Code. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like and also hit that subscribe button. And also please check out the C Sharp Masterclass. You can find the link in the description down below. I hope to see you there and I wish you all the best on your journey to becoming an even better developer than you already are. All right, see you in the next video.